everyone welcome to our channel biology for all in this video i'm going to talk about the labyrinth of the human ear the labyrinth or the inner ear is the part of the human ear now in our previous video we have seen the structure of the human ear and as you can see here in the diagram this green part here is the labyrinth or the inner ear this consists of two main divisions that is one which is a bony capsule that is the outer part which is called as a bony labyrinth and inside this bony capsule is present a membranous fluid filled part which is called as a membranous labyrinth so outer covering is the bony labyrinth and the inner part which is there inside the bony labyrinth is the membranous labyrinth this membranous labyrinth has a vestibular system that deals with the balance and equilibrium of the body and the other part that is the cochlear duct is responsible for hearing the vestibular system that deals with the balancing and equilibrium of the body has two main regions the semicircular ducts which is located inside the semicircular canal and the utricular and saccule let us see the diagrammatic representation of this now we have already done the diagram of the inner ear so these are the semicircular canals so these three rings that we can see here are the semicircular canals next to that we can see this part which is the vestibule and the coiled part that can be seen here the snail like structure that is the coiled part is the cochlea so this cochlea vestibule and the semicircular canals together form the bony labyrinth so here you can see that i have drawn a blue part inside this so this outer part that is marked with black is the bony labyrinth and inside that bony structure is present another tube like system which is filled with fluid so the blue part here inside the semicircular canal is called as the semicircular ducts and the part inside the vestibule the sac like structures inside the vestibule that also contain fluid is called as the utricle and the saccule similarly inside the cochlea also is present this fluid filled part which is the cochlear duct so the semicircular ducts the utricle and the saccule and the cochlear duct together forms the membranous labyrinth the bony labyrinth thus is a bony covering or a capsule inside which is present a fluid filled tube like structure which is what we call as the membranous labyrinth so this entire structure is called as the labyrinth or the inner ear if we take a cross section of one of these tubes here that is the semicircular canal so let us see how this cross section looks so here i have drawn the cross section you can see the outer circular part here which is the bony labyrinth and there is a blue part inside which is the membranous labyrinth now between the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth there is a fluid present which is called as the perilymph so the membranous labyrinth lies surrounded by the perilymph this membranous labyrinth is a tube which also contains a fluid that is called endolymph so if we look at the main structure here we can see that this blue part which is present inside the bony labyrinth is the membranous labyrinth so the part which is besides these two that is the part which i am marking here in yellow is the perilymph so perilymph is the fluid which is towards the outer side that is between the bony capsule and the membranous labyrinth and inside the membranous labyrinth that is the blue part contains the fluid endolymph so these are the two fluids that are present in the inner ear so this is the entire structure of inner ear or the labyrinth now let us talk about the vestibular system and the balance of the body so as mentioned earlier the vestibular system which contains the semicircular canals and the vestibule 
is responsible for the balance and equilibrium of the body. Now, inside the vestibule are the sac-like structures, that is the utricle and the saccule. The fluid portion in the utricle and saccule contains calcium carbonate particles that are called autolytes. So, utricle and saccule is responsible for the static balance of the body and they respond to movements or direction of the head with respect to gravity. They have sensory structures which are called as maculae. Now, in the semicircular canals, there are the semicircular ducts and they show a swollen part which is called as the ampulla. Now, this ampulla contains sensory areas which are called as the criste ampullaris or the criste. This deals with the dynamic balance of the body. So, when we say dynamic balance, it means the response to movements like rotation, acceleration, etc. So, basically, the entire vestibular system containing the utricle saccule and the semicircular canals deals with balance of the body. Cochlea deals with hearing, which we will see in the next video.